Hello, 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 and happy Wednesday. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Welcome into the Fat Film House this fine, wonderful Wednesday evening. I hope everyone has had a blessed week, a wonderful week, and you're ready to hop into the Italian Country Girls Kitchen. And we are going to be cooking up some homemade spaghetti noodles with my homemade marinara sauce. And uh, we're going to put some beef in it and have a uh, marinara beef sauce for our spaghetti. And I hope you guys are ready to jump in the kitchen with me and get to cooking this evening. Hello, class. Welcome in, class. I really thought you already fallen but i'm glad you're in the fat fam house welcome 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 class i hope you and nana are doing excellent and i heard kitty is doing good the last i checked with nana so um i hope y'all are doing good and uh it's wonderful weather in australia for you um it is actually kind of cold here we had 70 degree fahrenheit weather yesterday and today we have a chance of freezing uh 32 tonight with the possible flurries so so welcome to Tennessee, everyone. <laughs> welcome in. Hello, I see ya. Welcome, welcome. Happy Wednesday, I see ya. Welcome into the Fat Fam House today. All right. I hope you're. I hope the new job's going well, class. I asked Puff about uh, if you had got you started your job, and he told me you had. And so I hope the job is going well, and you're liking it, and everything is going well. I'm very happy for you and your job. And I'm happy that you and Nana got settled in your house and everything. So really, really good. Uh, I hear that you're in a pretty part of town in Australia now where you and Nana live. So that's pretty darn awesome. I'm happy for you, class. Really, really awesome. Hey, Atomic. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy Wednesday, Atomic. I hope you've had an excellent Wednesday. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, guys. 
let's get started. First thing first, we're going to get this marinara sauce going and cooking for our spaghetti sauce. And I'm going to make my spaghetti sauce homemade. Um, and so I want to get that cooking because you let it cook for about 45 minutes. So we want to get that cooking. Oh, wow. Yeah, I guess it has been a while. No, we just got our cooking strings now. Just playing our games, hooking it up here, doing everything. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good to see you back in. All right, guys. So, marinara sauce. In a bigger skillet or a, a stock pot, you want to get your uh, tomato, uh, tomato simmering, which I already started that. So, that, uh, that away... Um, here I'll show you guys so that, that could be heating up over here in my big thick skillet I have um, my marin my sauce it's crushed tomatoes uh, if you don't have a garden out right now uh, with canned tomatoes or anything like that I mean with uh, with tomatoes from your garden just get two 28 ounce cans of crushed tomatoes that's what I'm doing right now I just get organic ones uh, 28 ounces this is what they look like. I get the no salt added because I'm going to add a lot of flavor. Just just a 28 ounce can and you put two of those in the skillet and get that simmering. So I wanted to go ahead and get that simmering. And then I have turned on this little skillet over here. has a little bit of olive oil in it. And I've turned that on low heat because we're going to drop some carrots and onions and garlic in here. We're going to start sauteing that up and we're going to drop that into our tomato sauce. <laughs> some people can cook some can atomic so you know I have my best friend from my childhood she says she burns water still so you know hey she she likes to dial up pizza hut so <laughs> all right guys so what I'm gonna do is I have my oil heated up over here and I'm gonna go in and drop carrots yes there are carrots in my marinara sauce carrots is the secret ingredient to the Italian wonderful taste in your aunt aunt from Italy's Italian sauce it's carrots so you want carrots what you need to do is you need to take uh, two carrots and finely grade them finely grade them finely chop them and I'm going I have done that right here and I'm going to put that down into this oil, okay? And I'm going to turn this up a little bit. <clears throat> Get this doing its thing here. I've dropped my carrots in there. Yes, it is boiling on low. You're going to know if something is sticking. It's on the lowest setting as it'll go. That is it's called simmering. That is what I want it to do. Um, see, it is not sticking. It is just kind of simmering. Some stoves run hot. So uh, mine is a little bit of a hotter stove. So um, I just keep it on low. And you just stir it every now and then just to make sure it's not sticking. And it's not. Um, and it's still a very bright red right now. and hasn't toned down any. So I know it's doing its thing. Um, you obviously can tell if something starts to stick, it'll scorch, it'll burn, you can smell it. But most things you make are timed. Like this recipe, you saute and cook this for like um, 45 minutes. So you kind of already know that. So you just want to make sure that you don't go any longer than that. If you do, turn it off, put the lid on it, um, <clears throat> and let it do its thing. So that kind of is the deal there, Atomic. You just don't want it scorching, as we say. So um, you just want to keep it on a low heat. So um, with that being said, I've got my carrots over here, my grated carrots for my marinara. Um, they are cooking up in my olive oil. Hey, Hellbound, welcome in. Uh, you may be grinding at work if you are. Um, thanks for stopping in. I appreciate you. All right, now... We have to take a small onion, and we're just going to chop up this small onion, okay? Um, I like to dice it up, <clears throat> and we're going to add that into the oil with our carrots, okay? So I'm just going to start cutting my onion some here. 
And I'm sorry you can't see down low on my tabletop tonight, good. That is on purpose because I took my webcam and I tilted it upwards tonight because we're going to make homemade spaghetti noodles. And I wanted you all to barely be able to see because uh, where my camera is, it sits here and down so you can see my table better usually. But I wanted you guys to be able to see the pasta maker and the pasta dryer because when it was down, it was cutting off the top of the pasta dryer. So you'll just notice that you may not be able to see down here as good. I'm trying to to move it in where you can see a little bit but I wanted you guys to really see this um, in a moment when we start making our pasta hey polar happy Wednesday <clears throat> I hope classes went well I'm gonna take about half of this so I can dice it up dice it and slice it Dicing and slicing. You know, guys, I like to sing to everything I do, okay? I sing, I sing. I get it from my mother, I think. I sing to everything. I come up with a song for everything. <laughs> and we always, like, have these stupid movies. My and my family, we're, like, known to quote movies and do stupid things like that. I'm just kind of rocking my knife here to get a nice chop on this because I don't want huge, huge chunks. Roth, yes, carrots for pasta sauce. It is the secret ingredient. Thanks for the lurk, Polar. Class is working it hard. Class is working hard in that new job. Y'all, I found a new stove I want this week. Cilantro and I had to go to Lowe's and get some stuff because Jeff Rowe's been doing some projects. And oh my gosh, I found a stove I love. But it's like $1,400. So my purse doesn't like that. But it is a smooth top so stove like I have now. <clears throat> but it has all the buttons and all these cool gadgets on the front of the stove instead of on the top. And the stove can convert to an air fryer it has a built-in air fryer so there's a setting and you use your stove as an air fryer oh my gosh like this girl's in love all right i'm going to put this on here and put it down into the oil with the carrots all right let me uh, cut up the rest of these uh, Onions here, onions. Okay, I'll send you some food. I'll, I'll ship it over to Australia for you. Yeah, I know it's not a secret ingredient now, but it's the secret ingredient that people don't know about. So guys, we, uh, Cilantro and I, have come up with an idea. Now that we have our YouTube channel and we're uploading our VODs, I may start recording some cooking, uh, some cooking segments and uploading to the YouTube video uh, where I'm not live. And I just make one thing. So if someone's looking for something, like for instance, today I'm going to show you how to make pasta. I may record myself just making pasta noodles and showing people how to make just pasta. And then picking maybe ginger snaps. And I just make ginger snap cookies, upload the video. They may be like 10, 15 minutes long. So um, yeah, I'm gonna, I think we, we might try that and try to maybe get at least one up a week of a little maybe segment of just with something particular. 
and also do that along with the cooking shows and the cooking vlogs. So that might be coming soon, I hope. And then uh, people can go and watch whatever they like. Like, uh, if, for instance, in the Discord, uh, I have a channel where you can suggest things you'd like to see me cook on stream. And I have been doing those. Um, but Alice would like to see me make uh, uh, chicken tortilla soup. Uh, I make that in the crock pot so it cooks all day. So that would be a good little segment versus doing it live. And I could, um, like, cook this the soup and show you how to put it in the crock pot and everything and then that way we get to fast forward and you guys get to see what it looks like when it's done and and time to plate it so uh cilantro and i might be uh having those coming at you soon on our fab fam youtube channel if you've not followed please 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 go follow the youtube share it with your friends Yo, Hellbound with the gifted sub. Let's go. Let's go. Yo, yo, fish. What's up, my dude? All right, I'm going to put the rest of these onions in the pan. Yeah, and we'll, we'll still have our cooking shows on Wednesdays and Saturdays. I just want to do a little something extra, too. So I thought that would be cool is to do that and give y'all something else to go look up and um you know have a reference to um so that's going to be coming soon to our youtube channel now with that being said Benz, i'm going to start doing these segment videos for youtube if you guys have ideas of something you want to see me cook please let me know uh, maybe something even if it's lengthy instead of doing it live stream i could do it on uh the cooking video now we have our onion over here with our carrots in this little skillet our grated carrots and i'm sauteing those up but uh i could do that in uh the video okay so if you guys think of something uh jeffrey wants me to make homemade fruit roll-ups which i have uh, done a long time ago so i will, might do that in a feature video make some homemade fruit roll-ups and i have something fun and exciting coming um hopefully soon that i'm actually kind of pumped about it's going to be something really different for me outside of my box but for those of you that don't know i have a fr i have several friends that live in trinidad and tobago and they are some that used to live there and don't any longer and so um one of my friends that lives in trinidad currently approached me and thought it would be cool if i cook a trini dish um, and show you guys something that they like a lot from their culture and their food. So me and my friend and his sister-in-law are going to be um, meeting some more. And she's going to be teaching me how to make one of their dishes. And I'm going to try to put my, like he said, my little swirl on it and cook it on stream. I think it's going to be fun. Um, I'm really excited about it because it's going to get me outside of my box. I'm used to Italian food and my country food so i'm really kind of excited about it, you guys and i hope you guys are too and it'll be something cool that you guys can hear about and learn that you've never had before or seen before so i think it's going to be awesome and i'm really pumped about it so i hope you guys are too i'm kind of scared about it because <laughs> it's going to be something new but hey he told me not to be scared and um this dish can be cooked several ways so it's going to be cool to see my spin on it a little bit but I'm going to have guidance from um, his sister-in-law, etc. So I'm excited. I'm really excited about it. Yo, Retro, welcome in. Happy Wednesday. Hey, Jeffro. Hope you guys are all doing well. All right, we have our carrots and our onion sauteing over here. Now we need to add our garlic. Um, three cloves of garlic. <clears throat> so three cloves of garlic is three teaspoons of my garlic paste that I told you guys about that I love over here. 
So let me get my measuring spoons. So for you, for all y'all that weren't in here, this is at my local grocery store. It's Gourmet Garden. They make several different spices. I like the garlic because it's already minced for me and I just squirt it out. I love this stuff. It does cost a little more, but then I don't have to mince the garlic, which I can mince garlic. It just saves me some time. And I'm going to put three teaspoons of this into this, okay? This onion carrot mixture over here. That's going to be three cloves minced. One of the cooking classes I took, this was really cool because they um, had something similar, a different brand um, that was similar to this that was pretty cool. So I was glad I found something similar to it because it just saves you time of mincing. Fish, are you being goofy? <clears throat> All right. Well, I hope your Wednesday's going well, Retro. Hope you and the wife are doing well. You only have to saute this about five minutes now that I have everything in here together. Oh, the carrots are starting to get a little soft here. So we're almost ready just to add this in. Almost ready. Yes, Retro, I am with some help from a friend and his sister-in-law. I'm really excited. They approached me about it, give me the challenge of doing it, and I'm really pumped about it. So I'll be working with them, and um, I'm going to do it, and it's a dish that I can put a spin on, too. Um, so anyways, I'm really excited. It's outside my comfort zone. But I just wanted to let you guys know that'll be coming in the future. And um, I think it'll be fun. I think it'll be a lot of fun. All right. Yeah, we're going to make ice cream Trini style. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just being silly. We're not making ice cream. All right, let me get my water here. All right, you're supposed to add a half a cup of water to this, okay? You can use your can to measure out in, or you can just add the water, which I just did. Just kind of a drizzle. You're not wanting to saturate it. Now, I'm going to um, go on and put my basil, my Italian seasoning, and other stuff into the tomato sauce right here. I'm going to go on and turn this off. Okay. All right, so let's add our basil. Two teaspoons of basil. Two teaspoons of basil. Two teaspoons of basil. Okay, I got... Right. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Fab Fam. Glad to have you here on this wonderful Wednesday evening. So let's add our basil, two teaspoons of basil. So I got my basil. Two teaspoons of basil. And 
and uh, then I'm going to add my Italian seasoning, a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. No, this is a marinara sauce for spaghetti. It's an Italian marinara sauce. And then I'm going to put my crushed red pepper flakes. We're going to add a fourth of a teaspoon of our crushed red pepper flakes into this. We're just going to put a fourth of a teaspoon. We don't want it too hot. This just adds a little bit of kick to it. Just adds a little good taste to it. And we're going to put our parsley. I'm going to put, let's see, two tablespoons of parsley. Yes, I am part Italian. My mom was from Sicily, but she was born and raised in America. But her side, her dad's side of the family was. So I was raised on a lot of Italian dishes. And I was raised in the country. Therefore, I'm the Italian country girl. There are my two tablespoons of parsley. I grew up on my mama's Italian cooking. That is so cool. From Naples, welcome. Glad to have you. I was born and raised in America, of course, here. Uh, you can tell with my southern twang, I don't sound Italian. But uh, I live here in Tennessee, the state of Tennessee. And uh, so, welcome in. Uh, so, now, guys, I just added into this sauce right here, okay? I just added in my basil, my Italian season, my crushed red pepper, my, and I'm going to add my salt and pepper. I put in my parsley also, okay? So, my salt, I just want a teaspoon of salt. Cool. That's awesome. All right. And my pepper. Okay. Now, I'm going to stir this together here. Mmm, smells delicious. We're going to get those juices flowing in here. Get this all simmering. It smells so good, those spices. Okay. Now that I have added all of that in, I want to add in my sauteed garlic onions and my not secret now but my secret ingredient to good homemade marinara sauce is grated carrots so i'm going to stir this in i never got to meet my aunt nani uh, but my mom tells me wonderful stories of my aunt nani or she did when my mom was alive she told me wonderful stories of my aunt nani and Apparently, my Aunt Nani had all these little tricks, and the carrots were one of them in your marinara sauce. It gives it this flavor that I can't describe when it cooks in it, but you got to shred them really thin. You don't want chunk carrots in this. So that's why those, you saute those, and they're really thin. Okay. So now, to get a good flavor on it, you might want to cook this for about 45 minutes. Um, you know, and you want to check on it back and forth and make sure it doesn't, uh, um, 
a burn or anything. All right, Retro, have a good night. Uh, just, uh, just to let you know, we are family friendly in here. Okay. Just want to let you know that. So now I've got this, uh, finished stirring this up. Okay. Now we are going to swap over here while that's simmering. Okay. I'm going to let that simmer and I put a lid on it. And that is simmering on my stove, okay? And now we're going to go over here to um, our pasta, okay? Our homemade pasta noodles, okay? Well, this is where I cut up my onion and stuff. I want to move all this out of the way because I want to get some room. Now, after that marinara, I will add, it's cooked for a little bit. I'm going to drop some meat into that, okay? Whoa! Let's go. What is going on? Clay Sterling with a raid of 34 right. people. Let's go, Clay. Clay, I have watched your streams. I know exactly who you are. You play with my favorite, Sancho West. Welcome All into right. the Fab Fam stream. It's an honor to have you in here, sir. Welcome, welcome in. We're the Fab Four for all you guys coming in. We are the Fab Four. We game. I am Gaming Mama. All right. I game on the stream with my family. Jeff Bodine is my husband in the chat. Cilantro West is my oldest son. He streams on certain days. You'll find him in the chat. Stay Puff, yum yum 808 is my youngest son. We are the Fab Four fam, and we are streaming it up. We've been streaming for a year now. And just recently in January, I cook, and I'm a cake decorator also, so we added on Wednesdays and Saturdays, we added cooking streams uh, to our uh, channel to just show you guys how to, uh, you know, cook some dishes, and uh, now on our YouTube channel coming up, we're going to start uploading some little segment videos of cooking, so anyways, guys, thank you Clay, I really appreciate the raid. What a blessing it is. I appreciate it so much, sir. You're awesome. And uh, welcome in, everyone, from Clay's channel. I know I have missed a lot of followers have gone up fast. <laughs> and I know I have uh, missed that. Welcome in, everyone. Right. Hellbound, thank you for the gifted sub to Clay. I appreciate it. I hope uh, everyone enjoys those emotes that you have received in the channel from a gifted sub if you got one so please please enjoy it thank you so much clay it really is a blessing i'm so shocked i never thought i would get a raid from the one and only clay sterling <laughs> thank you sir you're awesome yo doxy 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 our vip let's go doxy yo slummy avi How's it going, honey? I hope you had a wonderful day at school today, love. Thank you, Hellbound. You're so sweet. Yo, Batman. Let's go, Batman. Long time no see, friend. Hey, thanks for the hype in the chat. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Thank you guys so much. Tonight, we are making homemade spaghetti, guys. Um, I'm, I go by Gaming Mama for gaming, but um, my cooking, I call myself the Italian country girl. My mom was Italian. We live in Tennessee, as you probably can tell from my accent. <laughs> we live in Tennessee, and so I grew up on the farm cooking great country food that I learned from my grandma and my mom. And my mom was Italian, so I got a little bit of that Italian pasta and wonderful stuff in me. So together, I'm the Italian country girl. So we're just going to cook it up. We have our marinara on our stove and a drone on the table. Doxy, this is where I'm going to dry my pasta, okay? <laughs> so we're going to get started on our noodles now. We're making homemade pasta noodles. Yo, Slimy, you have a birthday coming up in 15 days? Let's go, girl. 
Happy early birthday! Let's go! Kay, my girl! What's up? Hope you're drinking plenty of cheer wine. And for those of you new in here, if you've never heard of cheer wine, it is a soda that the Fab Four family adores. One of our emotes that says Fab Fam on it, as everyone calls us, that is our interpretation of cheer wine bottles, okay? So <laughs> that right there, we love cheer wine soda. All right, guys. So I have um, right here, this is the dough that I've made for my homemade pasta noodles. I had to pre-make this. I couldn't make it on stream because I have to let it set in a wrap, okay? So it's just two and a half cups of flour, okay? You mix all-purpose flour and simonella flour. It's an Italian flour that you use for making noodles, okay? And you put a tablespoon of olive oil, some sea salt, and four room temperature eggs in it, and that's how you make your dough for your spaghetti noodles, okay? So what I wanna do is I'm gonna cut this into fours, okay? I'm going to cut it in half, then I'm going to cut it in half again, and I have four pieces, okay? Now, this right here is the best thing ever. It's the best invention since sliced bread, as my mother would say. This is a pasta roller, and I uh, have it where you can see the base of it here because I want you to see the dough come out. It flattens it, and then I have a pasta cutter, and then this right here is what we hang our pasta noodles on to dry. But I'll start hanging them here as they come out, and I'll go all the way around. And by the time I make it to the end, these will be ready to drop down in the water and cook, okay? Have I ever bought bread sliced the wrong way? No, I haven't, Dogsy. Cool, slimy, yes, grand singing, happy birthday is awesome. <clears throat> All right, so while I do this, I need to put the rest of this in the wrap. So I'm going to wrap this back up because I don't want it to set out in the air. Okay. And for those of you that are new in here, we also have a Discord that we post, re I post recipes from stream in our Discord and pictures of food that we cook and stream and that others try to cook and cook and we put it in here in the Discord. Uh, so please feel free to go join our Discord. Um, also, there's a suggestion folder in the Discord and it's where you can suggest things you would like to see me cook on stream. And also, uh, like I said, we just got a YouTube channel. It's new for us. And uh, feel free to go join our YouTube channel. It has a few cooking VODs already on there. And Cilantro and I will be adding uh, some segments where I'm going to record some little cooking videos and upload those. So please, please go go uh, follow our YouTube and our Discord. I would love to have you, all of us in the Fab Fam would. Uh, as far as gaming, for those of you new in here, we like to play and stream some Apex. We play uh, Fortnite. Um grounded uh we've played little games for fun like battleship clue monopoly uno uh we have streamed um gosh i can't even think of everything fall guys uh, cilantro's done minecraft before roadblocks i mean uh, we just like we're a we're a gaming family i have been gaming since i was probably five years old i met my husband we married in 1997 and he loved to game, and we started gaming together, went to the arcade together. Uh, FS19, thank you, Fish. We do stream that also. Uh, we went to the arcade together. Um, we did all that kind of fun stuff. Then we got our kids into gaming. And uh, we've all just kind of gamed together. You know, the family that games together stays together. We love each other. We love having fun, and we love sharing that with all you guys. We're blessed to have you in the Fab Fam stream. All right. We're going to turn our mixer down on low setting, okay? And we have it on two. And so this, it makes this start running, okay? You need to watch your fingers. And I'm going to start putting this on the number one setting, okay? And you're just kind of mess with this. You're going to mess with it quite a bit. And you may need some flour. 
so it doesn't stick. And I'm just going to push it through the roller, okay? And it's going to flatten that for me. And then I'm just going to bring it together, okay? And I'm going to flatten it again. And I'm going to send it back through on one. Now, you're going to see it looks a little weird, and this is where I'll take my knife, and I might trim it a little bit. So, I just have it down here, and I'm just going to trim the edge off a little bit. Okay. And I'm going to move this from one. There's a setting thing on the side here, and I moved it to two. What we're doing is we're thinning this out, okay? We're just going to start thinning this down to our pasta. And then I'm going to take it to three. And I just keep feeding this piece through. It's going to get a little longer and a little bit thinner, okay? I'm not going to go to all the settings because I'm not making fettuccine or anything like that, like angel hair. Um, so now I'm going to go to four. And uh, finally, we're going to go to five, and that's the last setting we'll go to, okay? You can use a manual pasta machine. I just really like this because it fits on my KitchenAid mixer. Okay, now as you can see, I have my sheets, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this in half. Because I want shorter noodles, okay? I don't want my noodles too long. Now, this right here on this side is my spaghetti maker, okay? So now I'm going to feed this through here. And my spaghetti noodles are going to start coming out. And I'm going to grab those. You're going to lose a few of the small ends. And I'm just going to catch them, see? And right here we have our spaghetti noodles, okay? And I'm going to hang it on my drying rack. And uh, this is where your noodles, they're going to get a little bit stiffer. So that way we can cook them, okay? So um, you'll want to rotate this. And not put everything on one side at first. Because I don't want it to be um, kind of like top heavy and fall over. I'm going to trim this a little bit. You'll find that you have to clean up a little bit of mess when making this, but that's fine. The messier, the better, as my mom would say. Okay. Now I'm going to put these on this side. I'm going to rotate this around. I know, Doxy. And you know what, guys? Once you ever taste homemade pasta noodles, you're never going to want to go to the store and buy box ones again. It really spoils you. It totally spoils you. Now I'm going to take this back to one. And I'm going to get another one of my corners out. And I'm going to flatten it. And I'm going to start... Putting it through. And I'm going to fold it in half. And I'm going to put it through again. Now I'm going to do my little trim work here. Trim off my sides. Trim my bottom, move this to two, and I'm going to send it through again. Mm -hmm. 
And I'm going to put it through on three. If you're still here, Clay, again, thanks for the raid. I appreciate it. I always enjoyed watching you play with Sancho. I thought you were hilarious. I'm going to cut the ends off a little bit. Putting it through on five. Well, thanks for lurking, Clay. But seriously, I've always enjoyed watching you play with Sancho. Plus, I really enjoy your positive attitude. Um, I really think we need more of that in this world. More love and positivity. And I appreciate you that for that. Alright, I'm going to cut this in half. And I'm going to put this through. Now I'm going to put this through, this other piece through. Now, see, I got some of my pasta dry in here. Yes, it's messy over here, but that's okay. The messier, the better. The messier, the better. You better watch it. I'm going to start singing again. You know I like to sing to everything. The chat thinks I'm crazy most of the time. Because I like to sing. i got a song for everything. That's right. All right. Putting that through on one. And I'm going to bend it in half. Let me check my marinara over here. It's smelling delicioso. I still think we need smell-o-vision. Smell-o-vision. I'm going to turn on my water that I'm going to start bubbling up for my noodles. All right, I folded this in half, and I'm going to put it back through on one. Smush it, smush it. Smush it real good. Dun, da, 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 da. Okay, sorry, I'll spare you. Okay, I'm going to trim it up. Put it on two. And then three. And then four. All right, trimming it up again. You find when you make these, you do trim a lot. That's cool. That'd be cool. I'm going to make these a little longer. All right, putting it through. And guiding it through here. Putting it on here to dry. Okay. Cleaning up my mess into the trash can. And I'm on my last piece, y'all. My last piece. <clears throat> 
Okay, I got it set back to one. And uh, fold it in half. Now this is the flower I was telling you guys about. I just happen to have Bob, Bob's Red Mill here in Tennessee. You don't have to use this brand. But this is the um, Italian uh, flour I was telling you about that I mix with my dough, with my other flour to make my dough. You will, you will notice if you do that, the elasticity that you get and the nice texture on this is just like a, a noodle you would imagine getting in a box. But these taste so much better. Once you do this, if you ever want to venture out and give it a shot, oh my gosh, you'll never regret it. It just tastes so much better. <clears throat> I don't even like buying box noodles now. Okay, two, three. And for those of you that are new in here, Jeff Boating in our chat. That's my husband, and um, he's the official taste tester of the Fab Four family. He uh, he sacrifices and takes one from the team just to make sure everything tastes good. He uh, he doesn't like anything to be rotten or spoiled, so he doesn't want the family poisoned or anything. So he sacrifices, goes up to bat, and takes one for the team. All right. And I'm going to put these through here. And this is the last of my noodles here. Okay, now I got that loud thing off. All right, so let's go back over here. Let me drip this off here. Now I'm going to swap us back over to our stove, okay? This is our marinara over here. As you can see, it has a nice bubble to it now. You can see all the flavors and everything is mixing in really well now. So at this point in time, this is cooked for over 30 minutes now. I'm going to add in my ground beef, okay? I'm going to start adding in my ground beef. I pre-cooked two pounds of ground beef, okay? Normally, you guys might have seen in one of my old VODs, it's not up now. Uh, luckily, we're going to be at, you know, going forward as we have our YouTube channel, you'll be able to see all my VODs. But I made homemade Italian meatballs in one, and I did this marinara sauce with the homemade meatballs and pasta. This one is just going to be uh, just a meat sauce, period, just instead of just marinara. This is going to be a meat sauce instead of meatballs, and you can just put this over your spaghetti noodles. Okay. So let me pour the rest of this in. That is my two pounds of meat. All right. And let me stir this in. Good. And I have this on the lowest setting I can possibly have this on at this point. Because I don't really need it to cook much more. I like a lot of meat on my pot, my spaghetti, so you could do one pound if you want, but I do like it really meaty and hearty. So, 
So that is what that is looking like now. Man, I'll, the chat always wants me to mail them food. Most of you guys, I would have to mail it so far that um, it would probably rot before you got it. <laughs> Especially in Trinidad, they're icy. All right, let's turn up this water. I have water back here that I'm going to put my noodles in, okay? Actually, let me do this. Let me turn this on low. I want you guys to be able to see this. We're going to move. Let me do this. Let me move my marinara back to the back burner and I'm going to move this up here and I'm going to turn this on high and it has a teaspoon of salt in it okay it helps flavor the noodles I don't want much because they already have some salt in it and it helps them cook okay so it only has a teaspoon that's okay because if you guys have ever stopped over at grandpa 007 grand 007 pa um I've played some Fortnite with him and uh friends with him and his channel, um, his mods tell me that we're going to have a grand um, meetup one time. And uh, they're going to get me to do all the cooking. So, <laughs> so um, I might be cooking for a lot of people. I might be like one of the NASCAR chefs, you know, that go around in the trailer and cook for them. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> all right. Now we're going to try to get this water up and boil in here. Let's go, Icy. Eight months and one week. Let's go. Yeah, I told, uh, I was talking cilantro with some of them because they keep saying they want to go to Nevada or Vegas. And I'm like, nah, I don't want to go to Vegas for Grand's meetup. They're just joking around. Then someone said the Bahamas. And I said, what if we go to Disney World? And that was a hit because uh, uh, Salt, Salt Spring from, that's a mod in Grand Stream. His, uh, I think it's his girlfriend is ever after. And she was like, oh, I love Disney. Let's do that. So, you know, I can handle going to Disney and cooking for people. Let's go. Thank you for doing the shout out cilantro to Clay. I appreciate it, guys. If you have not <clears throat> seen Clay Sterling stream or gone over, uh, you might have seen him stream with various streamers I've seen him stream with. But one that comes to my mind is Sancho. That's where I met Clay initially, like as far as hearing about him and knowing who he was and watching him play games. Uh, so Clay streams himself and he raided us this, this evening and, um, he's a really cool guy, really nice. Uh, so go check him out. Thanks for the shout out again. I know Batman, you're in Vegas. Ooh, rough. Your browser crashed. Ah, boo. Hey, have you got moved into your new house completely, Batman? I haven't been able to play with you in a while and ask. I did ask Puff the other day if he had heard if you got moved in. <clears throat> okay, this water is starting to come to a boil here. Yes, Pugly, it's like watching water boil. <laughs> it didn't like your joke, Ruff. You're warming up in the fire range. Did you go do, do the little trailer thing in Apex, Barry? Because I did it last night where you go get on the little plane and enter your code. I was kind of disappointed a little bit in it, but you do know tomorrow Season 9 releases the Season 9 trailer, right? Because that comes out tomorrow. It didn't, yeah, I guess it didn't like your, your joke, Ruff. It didn't like it. Me too, Barry. I'm pumped too.
Cool, Batman. So have you guys sold your old house yet? All right, guys, this is boiling, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to take the first stack is stiff. You'll put your hands in it. Let me, let me show you before. You'll put your hands in it like this, and you'll just lift it off the rack. It'll have a nice seam because it's dried. And now this is not like as limpy as it was. It's more stiff. It doesn't take the stuff. That's why you keep it wrapped while you're cutting it because you don't want it to stiffen up too much. So I'm just going to come behind me and I'm going to put this into the water, okay? <laughs> oh, okay, so you haven't put it for sale yet. Oh, okay, Batman. And then I'm going to lay that in there. And I'm just going to keep getting this off. I'm going to keep getting this off here. And I'm just going to come back here to the water and I'm going to lay it into the water. Okay. My mic, I keep getting tangled in my mic. I'm still looking for a wireless mic I like. Like I said, the one I initially got was terrible. I returned it. So now I'm looking at other options for my cooking stream. Because I have my nice mic for my desk for streaming but I just need something in the kitchen this cord keeps getting in my way put that one in there you'll notice it doesn't take long once you add this to the water it starts a turning a different color This one kind of stuck. So this is the last bit. I left it a little bit longer. <laughs> and I'm just going to add this to the water. Now what I want to do is I'm going to mix this with uh, just like, you know, your pasta fork or spoon or whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to move this around, okay? And this is going to swell up. Believe it or not, you don't need to cook the life out of it, okay? You're only going to cook this about eight minutes, okay? Once it kind of starts boiling a little bit. So I'm just going to kind of move this around. I'm going to set a timer. Okay, and while that's boiling a little bit, let me show you guys something that's really cool. So if you decide you want to make your pasta noodles, this is a pasta dryer right here. It kind of looks like an, a clothesline or something of the nature. The old school pasta dryers that, um, you know, I've seen uh, someone in my family have or something, they were wood and they had dowels in them and they permanently stayed out like that. So you can imagine what a booger this is to store in your cabinet. Some people don't have big kitchens, um, you know, and you can imagine storing this somewhere. What a pain in the neck. This one I love. I want to show you guys how easy this is to store this and put it together, okay? First off, you just pick it up, and your legs, they have these little, like, hinges. You just push up. It releases it, and you turn it around backwards so it doesn't go back down in there. I just kind of push and twist, and the legs are dangling loosely now, okay? Hey, Allie! That's fun. Good to see you again. Then you pull this out and you let it flop down, okay? You pull it out, flop it down. It kind of just pulls out of the hinge there. So see, you just pull backwards and it pulls away. And it goes down like this. So ultimately, you just kind of do this. And look, it's down. Then you push up the legs. And when you set it in your pantry, it's like this. So I just store mine up in the pantry. Okay. And I get it out of, um, get it out of my way. 
I know you haven't stopped in. I hope life is treating you well, Allie, and everything is going wonderful. Then when you put it together, you just twist the legs um, and you just pull them backwards. And I like these because you can take these off for washing purposes. But then all you have to do is pull these out and you just go around and you do just push them in. So it's really cool to store this and put it together. It's so fast. And then there you go. You're, you're done with it. You can even lay it down. And put it in a drawer if you have a drawer where your pots and pans are. And it can just be out of the way. It's so awesome. So let's come over here and see if our noodles are done. Because we're getting about ready to plate this baby. Good, Allie. That's awesome. Hope the weather and everything is treating you well. Okay, I got about five minutes, it says. <coughs> Excuse me. Jeffro taste test? Hmm, we'll have to consider that. Good idea there, Ruff. I need to add some Apex, uh, channel points because someone asked us about those too. I need to revamp them a little bit. I did add, add some FS19 channel point redemptions. Um, <clears throat> I do need to add some Apex ones. And I don't know, besides the taste testing, what else we could do for cooking stream. But anyways, that might be a fun one though, rough. And then I'm just, you kind of pick them up and you start seeing how they're looking. You will notice these are a different texture and look to them than just box ones. They cook nicely. We have about three minutes left. They're actually almost done here. I like the idea though, Ruff. I like the idea. All right. The, oh, the clip. Yes, the clip where we have where Jeffro tried to sneak in the kitchen and get a taste test. Yes, <clears throat> that is funny. I may have to add that, though. I like that idea, Ruff. That would be something comical, too. All right, about two minutes left. At this point, I'm going to pull one out and I'm going to check it, okay? So I'm going to try to pull one out of the water. If I can get it out. Sometimes you get one that's kind of stuck down in there. I want to check its taste and consistency. I want to make sure it's done. So I'm going to pull it over here to my cutting board. Let me take a fork here. Actually, it's about done. Oh, earlier, um, I saw someone ask me about my cutting board. Um, I did not buy my cutting board. I make cutting boards also and sell them. So this cutting board that you guys asked about, I don't know if you can see it. I'm over in the dark spot here. Let me go back over to the other camera. This cutting board right here. This is my cutting board. I cut my uh, vegetables and fruits on. It has like the little, I cut out um, the little grippies that you pick it up with. 
and the feet. This is an ingrain cutting board, and yes, I did make it myself. Um, because someone asked where I got it. Um, so I just wanted to let you know I didn't purchase it. I, I made it. Um, I do, we have a shop here at our house, and I like to do woodworking, and my husband does wood carving. He has carved many uh, big things and um, signs and different things for people. Uh, so uh, the coolest thing I have to, to give a kudo and shout out to my husband while we're waiting on these noodles. The coolest thing he ever did was we have a friend who lost her son and her husband in 1996 to a drunk, drunk driver. And um, she had sold her house and by their pool. She had her little boy's uh, hand and feet prints and her son that's still alive's hand and feet. And someone come and cut it out of the concrete, but it was starting to deteriorate. And my husband took it and replicated it and he carved the exact feet and hand prints with their names that they etched into the wood. It was really cool and, he, and they give it to her as a Mother's Day gift. So I thought that was really cool. But anyway, um, here's my other cutting board. This is my big one I cut my meats on. It's just a really long one. It's just it's it's made out of oak and uh, maple and hickory, and it has feet on it too. But I made that cutting board also. So yeah, I'm, I made both of these. I used to go to a local fair and sell them, but I haven't done that in several years. All right, guys, so these noodles are done. They are done uh, as a, uh, let's see, as we would say, cook them until they're al dente, or el dente, as some people say. So you drain the water off these, but what I'm going to do is just pick them up with my pasta strainer here. Let the water drip off. Okay, so I'm just going to take them out of my pot here. I've moved my pot off of the heat. And I just take this and I put some on the plate, okay? Thank you, Batman. I really appreciate you stopping in. I know you've been busy lately, friend, but I appreciate it. And I'll ha I don't know if Puff is in here, but I'll have to tell him to um, definitely uh, check you out later and see if you're on, okay? So you guys can get some games in a Fortnite. Have a safe trip home, Batman. And then I just scoop out some of the meat sauce over here. Ha <laughs> rough. You're so funny. And uh, you put that on the noodles there. And um, I'm going to put some uh, Parmesan on it. Asiago and Ramona, Ramana cheese. Ramana. There you go. And we have our homemade noodles from scratch. Our homemade marinara sauce we cooked. And we added our beef too. And there you go, my friends. You have some homemade spaghetti. Now you can sit down and eat this while you game, okay? And you'll notice, see how it slides? I want to show you guys that. Um, it's going to be, have a little bit of, um, I guess you could say, a wetter effect to it than what you would buy in the store. Because it's homemade. Um, so there you go, guys. Homemade spaghetti. So that's it for tonight, guys. I appreciate you guys stopping in. I appreciate all the love and support. 
Uh, we appreciate each and every one of you. You all are lovely and beautiful, and we are glad to have you in the FabFam house. Thanks for all the follows. And again, Clay Sterling, thank you for the wonderful raid. Thank you for being so kind and gracious and uh, finding us and raiding us. We greatly appreciate it. Um, and uh, that, like I said, was a blessing. We appreciate uh, your positivity in the community. And uh, rough Batman, slimy, everyone in here, thank you so much for being here. Hey, Frank. Um, thanks for coming in, loving on us. We appreciate it. We love each and every one of you. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow, 3 p.m. Central Time, with Cilantro to catch some games. Uh, Friday, you have Gaming Mama. You have me gaming it up Friday evening. Uh, I game on Friday evenings, <clears throat> so come have fun with me. Let's play some games. And on Saturday, don't forget to cook an uh, catch another wonderful cooking stream with me. Uh, I appreciate it. Uh, let's see here. Let me see if I can get this to work. I'm going to attempt to raid Grandpa if I can get it to work. And guys, if you uh, have those FabFam emotes... Don't forget to spam them as we go into the raid with Grand. Um, uh, okay, Cilantro, if you don't mind, you can do that for us. Let's raid Grand 007 Pa. If you don't know who he is, he's a 76-year-old Fortnite gamer. I play with him. He's wonderful. Please spam these emotes. Again, thanks, Clay Sterling, for the wonderful, wonderful, wonderful raid. We appreciate you, sir. Hope to see you back in here again. And I hope you enjoy those emotes. And uh, everyone, don't forget to make tomorrow a great one. And don't forget to tell someone you love them. Bye-bye.